Hi, in this particular video we're looking at slightly trickier ratio questions. These are aimed at roughly about grade 4, grade 5 GCSE maths. Please do stop the video, have a go at each of the questions, compare your solutions. If you need any help, always add a comment below. I'll always come back to you and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the video. Hi, this is the second video in the playlist where we're looking at ratios. This particular one is just a tiny little bit more challenging, but please do stop the video, have a go at each of the questions and then compare your solutions. If you follow the link below, you can always download um, the paper from the website and have a go on a piece of paper if you wanted to. OK, so Arnie, Bethany and Carrie save some money in the ratio three to four to nine. OK, so that's the first thing I'm going to look at. So we've got... Um, Arnie, Bethany and Carrie and that was in the ratio 3 to 4 to 9 so if I add those up what I actually get is £16 so if they save £16 it means then that um, Carrie got £9, Bethany got £4 and Arnie got £3 okay however it also means that in this particular case Carrie got £5 more than Bethany OK, hopefully you can see that. So if it was £16, Carrie would have got £5 more than Bethany. OK, well, according to the question, that's not actually the case. The case is, is that Carrie saved or Carrie yeah, saved some money £150 more than Bethany. So in other words, if it was £150, it's going to be multiplied by 30 it's going to be 30 times bigger so we've got to basically use that 30 to be able to multiply each of the other numbers out and what we end up getting is 3 times 30 is going to be 90 4 times 30 is going to be 120 and then 9 times 30 is going to be 270 so actually in this particular case Arnie saved 90 pounds Bethany saved £120 and Carrie saved £270. So um, that would be part A. OK, in part B, it says show that the total amount of money saved is £480. Well, all we're doing is we're adding up these three amounts. So it's going to be 90 plus 120 plus 270. And if you add all of that up, you're going to get 480. So that would be part B of this particular question okay hopefully that's okay for you like all of these ratio questions what you need to, is to look at the base numbers when you get the base numbers in place and you're able to determine or use a little bit of information from them and then it's a case of finding a number that you would be multiplying by in this particular case it's 30. okay so let's have a look then at question number nine which is making brass okay so with this brass is is made from copper and zinc and it's the weight of copper to the weight of zinc is three to four so we've got copper okay and the ratio to zinc and that's going to be three to four okay so in other words if i was making seven grams of uh, brass what i would use is three grams of copper and four grams of zinc and i'll get seven grams of brass altogether. However, apparently I made 24 and a half grams of brass. OK, so in other words, and again, this would probably be a calculator. I need to multiply that by three and a half in order to get something that's uh, 24.5 grams or three and a half times bigger. So I use that number and multiply this by through each of the uh, weight of copper and the weight of zinc okay so copper three times 3.5 is going to be 10.5 and four times 3.5 is going to be 14 so the weight of copper that we use would be 10.5 grams okay so 10.5 grams and that would be the answer to this particular question okay final question then on this particular playlist and carrie and josh are back again okay in this particular case they shared some money in the ratio of two to seven so we've got carrie okay to josh and that's two 
to seven. Okay, well, in this particular case, they saved altogether nine pounds, and the difference between Carrie and Josh was plus five, according to our base numbers here. However, in this particular case, Josh received 30 pounds more than Carrie. Well, he didn't there, but if I multiply that through by six, I'm gonna get 30 pounds difference between the two. So therefore I multiply each of these numbers through by six and I get 12 to 42. Okay, so in other words, how much money did they each receive? Carrie received uh, 12 pounds. Okay, and Josh received 42 pounds. OK, and that's the answer to this particular question. OK, I hope that's been OK for you. Please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything. There is also a playlist on um, harder ratio questions, and I'll put a link through to that in the description. Um, and I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.